Welcome back to the Wolf or Queen Street podcast series. Welcome back to the audio podcast or the video series. But and uh, uh, one of the short series today, myself, Florence Lars, joined by Kieran Headley, a NFT investor. And the question today to, um, to Kieran on one of these um, short podcasts is, how do I purchase an NFT? Obviously, it's uh, it's big in the news and everywhere at the moment. Uh, you either want to get into it and if um, or if you don't, but a lot of people are trying to figure out, how do I buy? Yeah, yeah, great question. So the simplest way to buy is to load money onto a uh, a crypto wallet, mm -hmm. and the most popular one is MetaMask because of the its capabilities to connect to the marketplaces such as OpenSea, mm -hmm. uh, such as Immutable X, and these are just some examples of some marketplaces that you might access on the Ethereum blockchain to buy an NFT that exists on the Ethereum blockchain, and in order to do that, uh, if you're in New Zealand, a great website to up to load up your Ethereum is. Mm. Uh, um, I'm trying to remember actually. It completely slipped me. Um, <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Well, I'll yeah. I'll make sure get a post uh, post the show and I add it into the details on there, Kira. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and essentially um, the other one as well, which I've completely forgotten as well. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to just skip that. But in essentially. Uh, once you upload your Ethereum, uh, which is one of the blockchains that the NFTs exist, then you'll go to a place such as OpenSea, yep. which you could call almost the marketplace or the mm -hmm. eBay or the trade me of the Ethereum blockchain. There, once you go there, you can search for projects or yep. you can go to uh, the resources section or the stats section mm -hmm. and you can start to see what projects are doing very well. Yep. Once you find a project that you like, you then go into a specific piece or digital good of that project mm -hmm. and there you can purchase it directly and or you could also place a bid right and or an offer yep. uh, and in doing so the person can either accept or not accept now once you purchase you also have to pay this sort of exchange fee which mm -hmm. is a gas fee yep. and this gas fee just goes directly to the ethereum blockchain it doesn't go to the person purchasing nor does it go to uh open uh, however there is going to be a slight fee as well that's usually inserted into the smart contract mm -hmm. of the nft where the owners of that project will get a small percentage of the amount that was traded in terms of the total uh, sum that was traded as well as OpenSea as well so that's just one example of how people can go through and purchase nfts but fundamentally it's once you get over the scale of the technology and, uh, and so forth it is literally like purchasing on ebay you know, once your money is in the right place. Now, this is a lot of people like um, I did. I've done digital currency. I've done Ethereum. Um, I, I invest on the blockchain. Once you get your your currency, your actual cash in the bank up onto a wallet on the Ethereum um, blockchain, fundamentally, it's literally becomes like your PayPal. So you go over to um, OpenSea, which you're talking about at the moment, and you go, okay, I want this item, or I want this, but the, the, I want to do this bid, and it's literally like eBay or Amazon, and you go, okay, cool, and this is how you're going to purchase it, and then it just transfers onto the chain as well from that that point of view. Correct. And, and Correct. I, and so it just actually goes into your wallet. So yep. you'll be able to find actually a tab in MetaMask that will say uh, NFTs, and you can go there and find the NFTs you've purchased. And I just remembered the two places: Easy Crypto. <laughs> Yes. and Coinbase Pro. So these are the two best places that I've personally found in terms of the fees. Yeah. Now, awesome. Thanks so much for Kieran. Um, and if anyone else that's watching or listening at the moment has got any further questions around um, NFT and so forth, uh, please don't reach out to myself for once. Reach out to Kieran. Um, he knows what he's doing. He's an investor. He's also got an NFT podcast out there at the moment telling people, educating people how to get into the game. Um, his details will be in, in the description depending where you're listening or watching for today. But um, thanks and hope to see you next time.